just into CNN, a law enforcement official telling us that the gunman responsible for a deadly shooting spree in West Texas bought his weapon in a private sale which does not require a background check. That development coming one day after the ATF official said that the gunman had failed a gun purchase background check. We are also learning more about those victims. The suspect killed seven and injured 25 others. Uh, those killed range in age from 15 to 57. And now the family members of those victims are preparing to bury their loved ones and some are speaking out. And CNN Scott McLean is with uh, the family members of one of those victims right now. And so Scott, please, as you speak with them, pass along my condolences and the floor is yours. Hey, Brooke, you know, so much of the focus after these shootings is always on, on the shooter because everybody wants to know why. But it is important to, to know that in this case, there are obviously seven families who just experienced the worst weekend of their lives. One of the victims is Rudy Arco, a 57 year old serial entrepreneur who originally came from Cuba and he had five kids. And I'm here with uh, his his wife, Bari, and two of his kids, uh, Julie and Artie. And guys, I am so, so, so sorry that I'm even sitting here talking to you guys. I cannot even imagine what you guys are going through. I, I just want to know, what do you want the world to know about your dad, your husband? That he was an awesome Cuban man, hardworking guy, and he, did, he didn't deserve the way that he died. And my, my kids doesn't deserve to don't have a dad because somebody have a gun and decide to kill people. So I want that somebody take a step forward. Accountability. And, and help Americans to don't go through what we are going through. I would like to say to Mr. President Donald Trump that we met in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the International Church, that how he said he wants to make America great again. We want him to say that he wants to Americans be saved again. I mean, it's, it's unfair. The Congress, somebody needs to do something fast before another victim, another family, another kids <clears throat> without a dad. That's uncalled for. Please do something. Today it's us, tomorrow it's another brother, sister, mom, dad. Yeah. Uh, Bari, I know that today you saw the, the truck that your husband was in when he was killed on Saturday, and I cannot even imagine what that experience was like. I know that it was so, so, so draining for you. I, it was important for you, though, to talk to us today because you have this message. What do you want to see done from this? I need a, we need a change. We need to be saved. Like I said, we are from Cuba. We left Cuba because we hate communists. And now we are in America, the best country, the best everything, and we are not saved. Look what happened. Just, he was coming from work, driving his truck, and that's it. He's gone. Barry, I know that you got in side of the cab of the truck today. I wonder why it was so important for you to see that. Because at the beginning, when the accident happened, I want to run to the truck and see why and how and have questions about it. And we wasn't have that right because, you know, when an, a, a crime happens, they close everything and they don't let us, let us go inside. And I want to see that to realize this is real. And sometimes I just waiting for him to send me a message or a call, and I feel that nah, I'm dreaming. And for me to see his blood and see everything how happens, it was like, hey, this is real. Yeah. You're I, not gonna see him anymore. Julie, we'll sorry, I was just gonna say, Julie and Artie, I, I know that you know your dad came from Cuba here to escape the political situation, and, and you were telling me, Julie, that he left Las Vegas to come here to Odessa to start the trucking company, but the last straw in you guys leaving seemed to be the Las Vegas shooting. And so I wonder how it sits with you knowing that a mass shooting is ultimately how he died. It's ironic, I would say, like the irony in it, but when it's your day, it's your day, and, and we try not to, to question it. It just, it is what it is. And, you know, we wake up every day hoping it was just a bad dream and you realize this is your reality. Like, it's the first thing I think about. And I think we all agree that in everything we do, you, you think of him.
in it's one way or another. Maker, really, it's it's tough. I mean, uh, my dad is the type of person, the last person I would ever think to go. You know, he's always just on his toes and looking to help everyone out and just aware of his surroundings all the time. You know, not he even just that. Drive, just, you know, he's um, he was such a good man. You know, he had so much faith. Like, deserved you know, so much better. He if just, he said ten words to you, five of them were about God. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> everything to every he had so much faith so much he never worried about anything because you know if, if you tell him you're worrying about something he would say it's okay you got god like we got god like it's fine you know i, I before I, I let you guys run I, I have to ask you you guys came here to in part to fulfill his dream of, of starting this this company and bar you're getting emotional i know you guys have only been here for a year does this experience make you want to run from this place or does this experience definitely both. make you want to stay both we, we have both feelings. We feel like, what, how, how are we going to stay here without him? Without him. How am I going to pull up to my house every day and see him, his house next door and he's not there? How, like, how are we going to do that? But at the same time, we're like, him and my mom sacrificed so much for this business and to move here and they sold everything and, and, and they struggled. And how are we going to not live on what he wanted? It's what he would have wanted for us to stay here and continue. I am so sorry again that I'm having to talk to you, and I'm so, so sorry for your loss, and I'm sure all of our viewers feel the same. I'm just grateful that you guys um, chose to talk to us today. And again, it's important to remember that, um, you know, these, these shootings have consequences. In this case, there are obviously uh, seven people whose lives were lost, and, and there are 25 people who were injured, and some of those injuries may last quite a long time.